Recording. Set timer. Start timer. Hello everybody. Welcome back to part 32 of Let's Play Realms of the Haunting. And we are going to be walking into an ambush fairly soon. Too close. There we go. Okay. See? Here's the second bathroom that I was telling you all about. For some reason there's a big ass mirror here. Anyway. Let's pull out something a bit more heavy duty. Turn the light on. Come on. I know you're here. What's up with the red roses? Ah! Ah! Take it! Whew. Alrighty then. Forgot about that guy to the left. Anyway. Almost done in the house. Let's turn the run back on. There we go. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Alright, that guy's gonna fall down from here. Coin. You've got to make a donation to get into the church. See that? There's a massive texture by these d by the standard of these days, because you can actually read what's written on there. Anyway. If anyone knows what this does, give us a comment. Look, there's some water in this niche. I don't think it's rainwater somehow. What? You mean it's holy water? Does it work? It might do. Depends on how much you believe in it. Faith is the key. Anyway. I think we can get in here now. Something I've forgotten. See, I knew I'd forgotten something where a bunch of guys didn't jump me as soon as I walked out of the house. You need to go in this room. Remember, there was a locked door in here. Now, open, go, enter the room from this door because you'll be ambushed again and they're easy to deal with from this angle so run into this corner there we go and you get these three books two of which do absolutely nothing but you might want to look at them and this is, I think, the second last journal. Constantine, oh, sorry, Florentine 
has a nasty habit of ho hiding keys in his journals. Okay, now we're done in this house. There we go, right on cue. Pretty sure there's a few more. I have to say, those balls of magical nastiness are definitely a lot easier to dodge than, um, than the bullets they shoot at you. Okay. Oh, let's pick up this little notebook. Now someone was commenting that, um, a lot of the notebooks and diary entries and things that you get in this game are really hard to read. Firstly because they're highly pixelated and secondly because of the font that they use. And this is a really good example of that. Not sure if you can really see it on the YouTube video. Usually they actually say something about it. Yeah. Someone's notebook. Handwritten. The writing's barely legible. The characters even comment that the writing's barely legible. Saint Michael. Casting a demon out of heaven. Yeah, so that one shot of um, of the feathers landing at their feet, that took them a whole day to shoot. Just because of the uh, the randomness of um, of dropping feathers at people's feet. Why are those still locked? Thought I had the keys. forgetting. There's something sticking out of the pages. A key. Perseverance has paid off at last. I have a feeling this book holds the answer to quite a few questions. No doubt. Let's go through it thoroughly and systematically, okay? Okay. So maybe I had to see that video before you find the key. There we go. So this is the little bell tower place. And that's the key for the little alcove that's in the main hall. Now if you... We're out of time. I'll do this very quickly. Uh, you see this? That's a clue about what feather you need to put in here. You see there's 
two feathers. So what you do is, uh, because this will just choose it at random, so you make sure you put the green feather in there. That's a green one, isn't it? Yep. Make sure you put the green feather in there, otherwise you'll get attacked by some bad guys. You put that over there, and voila! Alf's helm makes me feel somehow ready to take on everything. Can't explain it. Come back next time for part 33 of Let's Play Realms of the Haunting.